Hey everybody, it is a very nice, wonderful day. A bit sunny out today. It is March 22nd, uh, Friday, and I'm just going to give you a quick view of what I got going on. Um, let's scoot some of this over so you can see. All right, I'm using this <clears throat> website called Seed Time. And seed time, you put in all your different crops you want to grow, and uh, then it tells you when to put the seeds in the soil or when to transplant them. My papers are going to blow away. So um, I'm going to show you this a, a couple of seconds and show you kind of what I've got going on there. And then um, we got this handy dandy little guy here. I'm going to tell you about that too real quick. Um, got lots to get done today, and we're supposed to get rain by 5 o'clock, I think it said. <coughs> so here, let's flip you around. All right. I don't know if you'd be able to see all of this. There we go. Okay, this is my tasks, and uh, this tells me in the seed time up here, that's seed time, and... Um, it tells me what tasks to do um, and let's see if it'll let me go up oh no it's not gonna do it hang on a minute let's refresh this okay there we go so it tells me what crops to grow and when to do it it also tells me down here when to prep the beds and when to put the seeds in like all these say direct so um, I'm sowing I'm sowing everything directly in soil so I got lots to do today as you can see and I got a couple beds to prep and due to the weather there's a couple of things that have been put off so I got to get those in there too um, let's see if we go here do 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 do, do. over here I don't know if you guys can really see this because the reflection is really bad, I can see. But over here it tells me bed preparation. This is the month and the day. And I can scroll up. <clears throat> here it highlights the uh, day we're at on today, which is the 22nd. And so you can see here it tells you all the different ones to go ahead and so over here is my entire list of all the crops that I'm going to be growing this year along with some of the flowers so um, yeah you can see I got quite a few going on so that's the side I'm using and that's telling me according to my last frost date and my zip code and I put that in and it calculates everything for you. It's really cool. I've definitely appreciated this. I think that this is going to be a game changer for me this year, especially because I'm experimenting, uh, yeah, experimenting and uh, trying out all kinds of new crops that I've never grown before. So this has really been helpful for me. Um, you can see my little setup. This is to open all of my Pack, seed packets. Here's my tape to tape it all back up. I've got it all labeled here for me for myself So I know where I'm what seeds I'm putting where over there We've already got a bunch of stuff started that big box right there. I'm putting the potatoes in which also have to go in today So there's a lot that has to be done and it all has to be done before the rain hits at 5 So I'm getting everything in here. I did water um water everything yesterday I was able to get a couple of things put in the soil but not very many uh, the last couple days has been quite busy um, I've got well it's for us it's spring and the weather has been permitting and beautiful so um, I've been doing some spring cleaning cleaning out the shed so we got lots to go and get done and that's Part of the reason why I haven't done uh, any videos in the last couple days is because I've been so busy and it does take time to sit down and do a video or walk around and do a video 
when that's the time I should kind of be putting more seeds in the ground and prepping more soil. There's my soil preparation area. You can see over there's the soil. Here's the the hose and everything. So, <clears throat> and these are all of my notes. All this handy dandy stuff here. Okay, so um, let's talk about this guy. Now this actually, it doesn't come in this uh, plastic. I put this in here so that it didn't get ruined. But this is my uh, garden tower project too. And it tells me what crops to plant in what rings. And so this has been a huge help as well as to make sure that I can successfully do this and uh, what to put where. So that's kind of what I've been doing as well. Going by this chart, going by the Seed Time app or site and just getting some things done. Yesterday I was able to get peas started and um, the carrots started. I got those into the soil and watered those all in right before it got dark so I didn't I wasn't able to get a uh, video on that and so now I'm just basically putting everything in soil and trying to get it all done before the rain because today is the deadline for this list of crops that I need to get into the soil I have literally today and tomorrow according to um, according to this site if you can see here where it ends today oh I got three days today tomorrow and then the next day the 22nd 23rd and 24th that all has to be in there and the difficult part is uh, today and tomorrow and the next day it's predicted rain all day and all night so <laughs> if I don't get it done now um, well it probably isn't going to get done and then we'll be behind. And I can't afford to be behind right now because I got way too much going on. So um, that's what I'm doing today is just trying to get everything in the soil and ready for... I look like a hot mess. <laughs> Can you tell it's hot? <laughs> but I'm just getting everything in the soil, making sure it's all in there and uh, everything like that. So that way... Uh, it's all started and the rest of the soil is prepped for the next things that are going to have to be put in soil here in the near future. Um, we do have a couple of weeks yet before our last frost date, uh, according to the Farmer's Almanac. Um, our last frost date here is supposed to be April 12th, but our 10 day forecast is looking amazing. So. I'm getting as much done now, um, one, because the site says so, but two, um, because I don't think that we're actually going to get another frost. If so, it's not going to be drastic to where it's going to kill anything, but that's just my opinion. The pollen is extremely high right now, so, um, and I am under the umbrella. But uh, that's what we're doing today, just trying to get everything situated and in the soil so that uh, we can get it started and have a good spring crop. And then I'll also do some more uh, succession sowing where I put more uh, seeds in the soil so that we have a good summer crop as well. So that's basically what we're doing today is just uh, getting everything into the ground and uh, or, well into the soil because I can't work with the ground here everything has to be in buckets or pots so that's basically what we're doing I mean uh, there's oodles of pots you can see I've got pots everywhere I just emptied that one and put it into our potato box and so I still have to get the potatoes in there but uh, we got some peas I just uh, I planted the peas yesterday and then I just put the radish seeds in here like minutes ago before I went live on this video and you can see this sparkly stuff this is vermiculite and this is to keep all the fungus gnats off of the soil because the fungus gnats here are 
outrageous this year. Just like crazy, crazy outrageous. Um, we have had a lot of rain, but this year the fungus gnats are a lot worse than they've ever been. So um, we're really just trying to keep everything going and um, I am I am six, uh, not succession sowing, I am companion planting and that's where I put, you just seen the peas and the radishes are both in that pot. Um, radishes are supposed to keep some of the other um, pests, I guess you could say, off of the peas. Um, and I'll go through all this later when I have more time. Although I do want to show you, we acquired these two umbrella stands yesterday. And I stuck this big old board in there for now. But I'm going to sprawl those out and uh, I'm going to put some fencing up there. And that's where we're going to grow our pumpkins this year. And yes, we're growing pumpkins, not full size pumpkins. Uh, neighbors are out but we are growing um, little jack pumpkins which are just little bitty guys and those I should be able to give uh, some of those to the kids for Halloween so that they have pumpkins and you don't have to buy them because the pumpkins these days are getting quite expensive on top of that we're growing pumpkins because my dogs can have pumpkins so I cook it up for them and that's it's very good for them it's extremely healthy, healthy for them. And uh, just a key, when you do get your pumpkins or when you grow your pumpkins, when you're done with them, save your seeds. Throw them out in your backyard. If you don't have a dog and you're not gonna give them to your dogs, which it is good for your dogs, it's a natural dewormer, but save your seeds, toss them out in your backyard. If you don't have a backyard, go down the road where there's some woods or something and toss them out on in the woods. Um, it's also a natural dewormer for our wildlife. So um, any any of the wildlife, especially the deers, deers love pumpkins and the pumpkin seeds. So instead of throwing them away when you're done with them after the season, if you don't have anything else to do with them, then toss them out in the wild so that the wildlife can enjoy them instead of letting them rot and go to waste. I mean, I reuse and recycle just about everything if I can't reuse it or recycle it, then I find other ways to uh, give it a purpose instead of throwing things in the garbage. I'm really not one to throw things in the garbage. Um, our landfills are already way too full, and <clears throat> I just don't care to contribute to the landfills. So with that being said, I just figured um, this is I'm pop on here and let you know what's going on. Um, uh, in the future, um, I'll do a video and I'll show you all the different things that, uh, have been planted in the towers and, uh, the rest of the pots and everything. It's just right now, I do not have the time and the weather is not going to be my friend, I guess, according to the weather channel. So I have to get this done ASAP before it's too late. With that being said, I do hope that you're having a wonderful day. If you are one of my subscribers, thank you very much for tuning in and watching another video. If you're new to my channel, thank you for joining us. Um, I appreciate all of you guys, uh, new or old. Um, I shouldn't say that. That's not right. But, you know, the new subscribers and new viewers along with our past uh, subscribers and viewers. So make sure that if you enjoyed this or you have any questions, leave the comments down below. Um, questions, ideas, suggestions, things like that. I'm always open to that. I'd love to hear what you guys think or if you guys are doing something different or what are you doing? What are you growing this year? How are you growing it? Um, I'm new to all this here in Tennessee. I'm used to growing it all back home in regular dirt and here they don't have dirt, it's orange clay. So um, it's very difficult to grow things. So I'm learning. It's all a learning process and that's why part of this channel is called the Relentless Growth. I'm not going to stop trying and I'm just gonna keep experimenting, see what works and see what doesn't work and go from there. But thank you for tuning in. 
give me a like leave some comments below tell me what you guys are growing and uh, if you have any ideas or anything make sure you hit that bell it should be somewhere down there uh, subscribe so that way you can see all the other videos that will be coming in the future and uh, have a have a good day enjoy the weather hopefully um, you guys are having good weather where you're at and remember you are someone you do matter and may you be blessed today and we'll see you on the next video until then ciao now